Hi guys, thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is Jian from BK Floor Delight. Today we're going to make magnolia flower with buttercream palette knife painting effect. First, I'm going to show you how to make deep and dark colors without using too much food coloring. This double dutch dark cocoa powder is one of my favorite ingredients. It's from King Arthur Flower. I use this cocoa powder for baking and also to color my buttercream. First, I will mix it into my buttercream and make a darker tone color. Once you reach to a darker tone color, then add food coloring to dye your buttercream. Since the buttercream is close to brown color, so even though I add a lot of blue color, it'll turn to green. It's the same idea when you make green color, you use blue and yellow together to make a green color. But today, instead of yellow, we're using a darker brown to make the green color. Now I have my final color. It's so deep and rich. It's gonna be great for the holidays. Now I'm going to cover the cake. So I covered 5 inch diameter cake. I'm just finishing up my cake. And once you're done covering your cake, chill it for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes later, I started to set up my palette for the palette knife painting. I'm using this baking sheet upside down and setting up my white buttercream because I'm mainly going to use white buttercream without colors. And the second part is yellow buttercream and the next part is moss green and kelly green. Sometimes I make more colors while I'm working but it's much more easier when you have the basic colors on your palette. So today I'm going to use white and yellow and green for sure that I know so I prepare those colors and have some brown so I can mix and work on some different shades. I'm going to start with the bigger size leaves. It's much more easier to overlap with your flower. And today I'm going to add some venation patterns to add some details on my leaves. I had a little accident while I was working on my flowers but it was very easy to remove the buttercream because I chilled the cake before working on the flowers so it's very important to chill your cake. And I wanted to show you how to add a bigger size petal with the spoon. I have this pointy shape spoon so I can still keep the petals little pointy at the end and I can add a good amount of buttercream at once. The spoon is good to add a thicker petals but if you don't want to have a thicker petals you can skip this part and start working with your palette knife. Pick up a good amount of buttercream with your palette knife and wiggle side to side while you're adding the buttercream then you'll have a nice and smooth wide petals.
Don't miss out the flowers on the side of the cake. It's really important to see all the details. Now I'm going to show you how to make the smaller leaves. Add a good amount of buttercream on the front bottom side of your palette knife and once you place it on your cake, slide it off quickly so you'll get a nice smooth and pointy small leaves. And once you're picking up the buttercream by using one side of your palette knife, you'll see the petals are a little sharp at the edge. So I try to smooth it out before adding the petals. Then you'll have a nice and smooth edges. And for the details, I love using this brush from Wilton. It's very easy to pick up the buttercream and place it on the spot to add the details. Because of the short brush head, it's easy to work with the buttercream.
I hope you are enjoying this video. If you want to watch more buttercream palette knife tutorials, please subscribe my channel. I'll come up with more buttercream paintings. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have any questions, please leave it below in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.